Many riders are fine with their stock clutch, but in some cases a light clutch can be very cool. If you are doing a lot of slow, technical riding with lots of clutch slipping, or if you are an older rider with weak fingers. Here are five ways to get a lighter clutch. When they design their clutches, manufacturers have to make the clutch springs strong enough to prevent clutch slipping at full power in higher gears. However, many of us rarely ride like that, so it can pay to dabble with reducing the spring strength. A very cheap mod, one dollar's worth of washers with your stock clutch springs. Okay, first up we take this cover off, and just remember you've got a little spring there, so you want to take that off before you take the cover off. And we just loosen all these bolts off. Now what we're going to do is put washers here, which effectively pushes the bolt out a little bit, takes pressure off the spring, makes the clutch lighter. And 6mm washers, and of course you want them to be smaller than the inside diameter of the spring there. If you buy washers that are thin enough, you can come up with combinations to get the desired width. These tips come from Owen Locke. He went 1.2mm, he said it made a big difference. On his wife's bike, they went, I think, 2.4mm. I'm trying 2mm. This thread strips very easily. You just want to cinch it tight. Don't strip that thread. I don't know how many washers you could put in there, but of course if you put too many, it'll start to hit the inside of your case. So I recommend don't go past two and a half mil. That's the most I've heard of. I would estimate the clutch as being around 20% lighter with two millimeters worth of washers on each spring. Remember to check to see if there's any slipping when you drop the clutch or accelerate hard. The second option, lighter clutch springs or even removing some. Compare your stock clutch springs with those from a smaller bike like the KTM 200 EXC or even 125cc bikes. If the dimensions are correct but the springs are softer, try two of these and even four if you don't get any clutch slipping at full revs. A cheap mod as you can get a full set of clutch springs for as little as $20. A third option, if your bike has six clutch springs, just try removing two of them. This is a popular mod for KTMs especially. And of course, check for clutch slipping under full load and high revs. Please note though, I've never tried this, so can't guarantee there may not be issues. But searching all the forums, I haven't seen any negative reports from this mod. Option four, the Midwest lever uses extra leverage to make your clutch around 30% lighter. This means you do have to pull the lever further in to fully disengage the clutch. Some guys like this as it gives you extra control over the clutch, but a small number of riders don't like it. I've been experimenting with the Midwest lever and the extra washers for each spring with excellent results so far. The Midwest lever is around US $80. See our review video for more information. Option five, the Rolls-Royce treatment. At around US $280, the Clake One Light Clutch stores energy when you release the clutch in order to make pulling it in much easier. Expensive? Shit yeah! But if you regard this as a long-term investment to swap from bike to bike, then it is a great option. It's certainly what I've been using for the past few years. You can adjust it to make the clutch up to 75% lighter. And it doesn't use leverage to do this, so you still have the same engagement and disengagement points as your stock clutch. Just check out our review video for more information.